I'm not, I wouldn't say, and I wouldn't like to call myself a very religious person, but yes, I would like to call myself a spiritual person. And I do find solace in that. And I think it's helped me overall uh, to grow as a person. I think most importantly, it wouldn't make me the person I am today. If I wasn't the person I am today, I don't think I would be as good as, um, as what I've become. Uh, and I wouldn't be playing at this level for the years that I have. Um, I think it's kept me grounded in a lot of ways. Uh, especially coming from a country like India because we haven't had the most rich tradition of, of top squash players. So, you know, it's very easy, like, you know, like people say, thinking that, okay, if I win, like, okay, I have like 13 national titles now, like, like the thought process for me is not about how many national titles I have, it's about how I can make top five and things like that. And I think uh, that um, that kind of mindset has helped me uh, to keep pushing because it's not kind of let me be satisfied with the fact that, oh, I've been, I'm Indian number one and, and, and that's all that matters kind of thing, you know, like it, it doesn't matter. Of course, it's a source of a lot of pride and, and it's a privilege to be uh, number one in your country, but at the end of the day, you want to be the best in the world. Um, and uh, I think the, the, the person that I am today because of the spirituality that I have has helped me um, kind of understand that better and, and that's what's helped me uh, keep pushing even uh, after so many years on the tour like otherwise like I could be satisfied with what I have and just be like okay man this is this is it and we'll just play along and chug along and, and that's not what I want to do I think the day I feel like um, I'm just going to chug along you won't see me at the Windy City Open anymore <laughs> like I'm Hindu I'm married to a Christian girl uh, so I wear a Christian cross our engagement ring is uh, is a Christian rosary ring with our names um, inscribed on it. Being a Hindu, I have I have this thread which I wear. Oh, that's the mic. <laughs> I have this thread which I wear um, every day, 365 days of the year, 24 hours of the day, uh, and I use this to pray uh, when I wake up in the morning and when I uh, go to sleep at night. Um, so my family is from a priestly class, so um, all the men in the priestly class family basically get this thread. At some point uh, in their um, in their childhood, and you're supposed to uh, like pray with it twice a day. You're supposed to do it when the sun rises and when the sun sets. But I don't really wake up normally when the sun rises unless I'm jet lagged. And when the sun sets, I'm normally training, so it's it's not really going to work. So um, so I do it when I uh, wake up uh, before I eat anything and uh, after uh, just before I go to sleep. So those are the two times. Uh, or that I that I pray with it, um, and that's the time when I kind of look ahead to the day in the morning, or look back on my day uh, at night, and and figure out how everything's gone, what I can do to make things better the next day, um, and you know, kind of visualize as to what I want to do, um, and I think that helps um, put you in the well, put me in more often than not in the right frame of mind to to play the best i possibly can uh, i think it's important in the world that we live in uh, where everything is so fast-paced uh, you know we're living in big cities uh, there are multiple pressures on us uh, obviously this the squash there is a different pressure but outside of that there are so many other things that we have to deal with um, I think it's important for us to be able to have a little bit of time for ourselves where we can cut out um, all the noise, so to say, and, and have, uh, have that quiet space in for us. And everyone wants to be happy. I mean, if anyone tells you, no, I don't want to be happy, I mean, what are you living life for? I mean, at least that's what I believe, right? Everyone wants to be happy. I mean, we're playing squash matches here. We want to win a squash match. Of course, we win a squash match. We are happy. That's why if we lose, we're sad and we don't want to lose. Right? It's, it's as simple as that. And in every, anything in life, you know, you get married, you want to have a good marriage because you want to be happy. Uh, you want to have good relationships with, with the people you interact with because you want to be happy with that. So um, you need to be, I mean, I, I don't think smart enough is, is the right word, but uh, you need to be selective enough in what you kind of follow and believe in uh, to make you a better person and to make you live life uh, in the right way. The path to actually, at least that's what I believe, the path to actually growing as a person and becoming a better person and, and, and living life in the best way possible is not to say that you're never going to make a mistake, but to say that, okay, 
um, I did make a mistake to accept that, yes, I made a mistake at some point and to kind of admit to that and say, okay, I'm not going to do that again. And I think that's the, that's the basic, uh, basic thing of, um, of, you know, being spiritual or finding solace. And I think that's why it's important to find that, find that quiet in your, in your life. Because if you don't have that quiet, then you don't have the time to think about what you're doing is, is right or wrong. Um, and it's very important to understand that. And um, of course, everyone's definition of right or wrong is, is, is different. Uh, we are not all the same people. Uh, we have different opinions. Um, but I think as long as your actions don't cause harm to another person, you're doing all right.